Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're back with more cash game content, playing 1-2 with a $200 run. So back over to Under the Gun. And then here back to the three better calls. Alright, so against my specific opponent, I think I'm going to check here. Actually, no, I'm going to go for 10%. They just open jam. Perfect. Just got to fade a gutter and backdoor hearts. Perfect turn card locks it up for us. Aces are good. Here we open jack nine. Big blind calls. We're going to flop the straight. Raises. All right. Think just going to call here. It's maybe a mistake, but. And then this turn here, if they bet again on double flush draw, we're just going to get it in. Hopefully it doesn't have ace jack. That'd be pretty sad. So yeah, I think this just wants me to get on double flush draw. Snap calls has ace jack, that's so sick. Oh, nuts for second nuts on the flop. Hate to see it. So button opens here, through at 98 suited. Fallen Angel said, looks like ace jack. Yeah, that was, was pretty tough with the jack nine. I mean, I think pretty standard once you just call the flop that we want to get the in on double flush draw, but still frustrating. Button opens here, we threw about 98 suit to get call. We're gonna bet flop here at the combo draw. So we've got a gutter in the flush draw on a paired board. And then a board pairs on the turn, really bad turn card. Um, let's see. With that said, if we're gonna have some bluffs here, I'm trying to think of what properties I'd wanna have. Um, not 100% sure actually on this one. Now we, if we have a queen, it's a really bad river, so I'm gonna go ahead and check the river. Even with the queen, I might check river here. I'd probably value about aces at this point though, or at least consider, or actually no, never mind. We still be losing a queen. So yeah, I'm gonna check and then give up here. And jams the river, let it go. Ace queen here, player set now, so we open cut off small blind three bets. I'm just gonna be setting up to call position of less the big blind four bets, so they fold we call. Flop top top, pretty good start, queen seven two. So it goes for half pot here, call. Six of hearts in the turn. So I do think can kinda go either way here. If they were to bet, I would probably actually be leaning towards mostly jam, but once they check, we'll go small size to call if they jam. All right, don't show me an overpair. A six of diamonds, got 75% diamond on the river. Oh man, beautiful spot to cover their two pair out, so they just need a six or a diamond, unfortunately for us, drill it. All right, so this is a really small four bet. I think we probably have to call, but I'm pretty concerned versus this player. Face queen O until we hit the straight. Went from very concerned to very excited very quickly. So king jack 10. See what they do here. So this player cold four betting. I'm actually thinking about getting this in. I, I think with no flush rock, they're actually I'm just gonna call in position. And then outside of like you know, the ace or the queen, we're gonna be getting paid here pretty often. I think. So they bet sixty, and we're just gonna get in at this point. I'd imagine they don't have tons of bet folds here, especially this pot being like cold four bet pot. Even if they have like ace king that's been betting, I don't want like a river card that kills action. So we're just gonna get this in. And calls it off queens. We got 96%, but we chop. Oh my gosh. Ugh. The good news is we couldn't lose that hand after getting in. The bad news is there were still some chop outs, and it did hit one of them. So we got cutoff open here, three bet and king queen suited. Can just flat this too. So we see the call go for bet here, 10 6 6. And then ace on the turn. Half pot turn here. And then I think I'm gonna use my bluff jam. If they don't have an ace or a six, pretty hard to call. And even some weaker ace sacks, pretty hard to call down. Get snapped by the six five, man. Not to go in good today, so our bluff gets snapped there. Hold four bet, nice. All right, so hold four bet range is usually pretty strong. I can have some just flats. Jamming's completely fine here as well though too. Um, I think I'm actually gonna jam this one this time. But well, I can definitely have uh, just flats here too. All right, well, it makes it easy. Again, not slow rolling, just tanking because we want the button to think we have a decision here. So very good for us here. We're going to be all in against at least one player with aces. 
Three way all in. Oh my gosh, two aces and kings. Oh, no heart. All right, whew. That's crazy. Two aces and a kings. So open 98 suit to get called here. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and bet flop top here. And get raised. All right, so pretty big raise. I think still want to call a top here, but I'm definitely a bit concerned. It's a good turn card. <laughs> Very good turn. That's again. I think just call again. Let's see. I don't want to see it. Seven six or spade. Good river. All right. Down the setter. Better nine. Better nine. Oh, what a tilting turn card there. So all the draws missed. We have trips. We do block some of the missed straight draws, like eight seven eight six. But the check rate's huge. Like that I wasn't necessarily sure he'd have like ace nine king nine in range there. Obviously, ended up having it, but. So we have cutoff open, three bet sevens here. So flop is set, pretty good start, king seven two. Start with small bet here. We don't have a spade, so really in the turn mostly just don't want to see a spade. Turn the boat. I'm actually going to turn this into a trap here on the turn. Can go either way, but I think I want to mix in a trap from time to time to really protect my check range in this spot. And then ace on the river, going to try and check jam river. So they have any ace they have aces and twos, the king kicker. Gives them a chance to bluff. And I'm gonna look pretty capped here a lot of the times. So bet's 53, gonna jam. So hopefully, I'm part of what I'm hoping for is he'll hopefully put me on like trying to get him off a chop. Because it's actually a pretty sick spot with my ace x. If I don't think he has ace king very often, especially once the turn checks through. Or 2x. To try to get him off chop. So to actually have a better hand here, it's very nice. We're gonna jam the river for value. Like I said, it's actually a pretty good run out, especially if he has an ace here. That's a spot where he could be calling for chops, or I could just have some bluffs here too. And it's nice to have the boat when I check twice, both on turn and river. So in his spot too, like you'd have to imagine, I probably don't have aces very often. I'm going to want to bet the turn with aces pretty often. Kings I would maybe check just like I did sevens, but... Probably won't have much ace two suited here. Taking this line either, I probably want to bet the turn with that. So we check jam the river. And eventually calls it ace queen. Nice sevens are good. Perfect river card to get paid there. Good flop over here too. So we open, hijack, we blind defends, we flop bottom set, king jack two, two clubs. And we go for a bet. And then interesting turn. So flush comes in, king pairs. And I'm gonna go ahead and bet turn. I hope they have a king or a flush. Not king jack or king two, that'd be very bad. King two of spades is the only one that's still out there. Raises, all right, so just gonna be a call here. Basically just don't wanna see a king jack or a jack here on the river, any other ones we'd wanna call down. Hopefully it's like the ace high flush. Gonna lose sometimes here, but I think again with the bottom boat, we're just gonna want to be calling down. King Jack is gonna raise the flop at some frequency, at least I'd imagine. King two, at least a little bit too. So, and like I said, there's only one King two suited remaining. And it has Ace eight, and we're good. So they're bluffing with the nut flush blocker there. Boat gets paid. So hopefully, you see a jam and we get can hold. Didn't snap full, so into the tank here a little bit. Could really use a buy in here today. And goes to the time bank pre flop. Interesting. Size so on just a flat here. All right, so we're going to start quarter here. And then call up the check jam. So if we get called, mainly just don't want to see a spade. Uh, the check jam is queen of spades, 66%. Whew, all right, we do fade the spades there. Didn't want to see a flush. I was really hoping to see like jacks, tens, nines, but. End up being good and hold there. So over here, small white opens. We call pre, call the pot size flop bet. Six on the turn. So over bet. Still going to call an ace here. And then queen on the river. This is an interesting river card. I would expect to slow him down quite often. So if he jams here, it's still a bit tricky. I think I'd probably lean full because I'm going to have some queen x here. I'm going to have like queen jack. I'm going to have king queen. I'm going to have queen 10. 
So, and like he's, it is tough because if he jams here, it's like he's wrapping a super narrow range at this point. It'd be interesting if he blocked here, but when he jams, I'm trying to think about what I would want to block here. Probably would want to block a king or a 10 at least. Don't have a club, which is good. Um, so I think you'd still jam the straight here potentially, but just because like I'm not going to have ace queen in range here. I'm not going to have jacks full, aces full, flatting pre, uh, we'll fold the river. All right, so open, through at queen jack here, get called, flop a gut shot, and go for bet. So turn seven. Uh, let's see, do I want to bet again? I think we're going to. This might be my triple barrel hand on non-heart rivers. So we block jack 10, which is good. Obviously, we're going to have more aces, kings, queens in range than they are. So yeah, I think I'm not hard a decent amount of these rivers. I'd bluff. If I hit a queen or a jack, I'm probably going to check. All right, looks like they either saved us someone or cost us hitting the 10 on the river. So we're going to fold to the all-in. All right, so we're going to open jacks here, button flats. And let's see, going to go ahead and check. So bets for four, just going to go for check call here. Turn is set, which is good, but 10, 9, and hearts come in. I don't think I want to raise the turn unless they go small. That's a good river. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna try to check raise the river. Hope they have a queen that would still bet river here once it's been checked through. They over bet even better. I'm trying to think if I go really big and just like jam the river here. It'd be pretty greedy, but um, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for it here and hope they just make some pretty light call. This is pretty greedy, but I'm gonna go for it on the river. So I hope they have like a flush sometimes. I mean, to be fair, when the turn checks back, they probably don't have a ton. But we're gonna get called by 10-9 for the straight. Let's go. Win a huge pot on the river there. Over here, they jack's here. We're gonna open, get three back call, flop trips, good start. This might be the sun run start that we need today to end the session, guys. We're gonna flop trips. Goes for a quarter pot. Just gonna be a call here. King on the turn. And then checks to me here. Go for bat on the turn. Then if we get called, it's about 1.8 to one pot behind here, I think would just be jamming Brick Rivers. So see the call. And then here I'm gonna jam basically just repping a jack. So hopefully they have like King, Queen, or Ace, King. Best bluffs probably all around like a 10-9 type hand, Queen 10 and on clubs, stuff like that. So I'm gonna go for the big over bet on the river. And just see the snap full takedown. All right, YouTube, that wraps up today's video, and we play a total of 3,093 hands over the course of seven hours. Unfortunately, there's $343 on the table. Despite the loss, it was a lot worse throughout the day. We got almost down $1,000 a few different times, so only lose 343 feels a lot better than where we were at. So, hope you enjoyed today's video and the hands from the session. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.